Hello, my darlings, and welcome to my spell candle series. Today, I'm going to create a money draw spell candle to bring you money and prosperity. Create this spell candle to focus on a specific area of your life where you want to become more wealthy. Let's do some magical crafting. This video is part of a candle magic series. I create 12 different spell candles and talk about the magical properties of the ingredients in each one. I'll link to a playlist for the series below. I will also link to all of the materials I use to make this spell candle below the video. Spell candles are used in all kinds of magic, ritual, and spellcraft. They're used in witchcraft, voodoo, hoodoo, root work, and folk practices. You can add oils, herbs, crystals, colors, or symbols as you craft your candles to align with your magical goals. Most importantly, as you create your candle, infuse it with your intention. If your traditions call for it, you may wish to bless your candle, chant or speak words while creating it, invoke a deity, or pray over it. I begin by weighing out my wax. I'm using flakes of soy wax and I'm measuring out four ounces. This amount of wax will nicely fill this five ounce glass jar. Jar sizes are based on volume and candle wax is measured by weight. A five ounce jar will hold four ounces of wax based on weight. You can check online for the amount of wax you need for the container you've chosen for your candle. I've created a book of shadows page for this particular spell candle recipe. If you'd like to download a PDF of any and all of my grimoire pages, you can visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. My patrons can download recipes, Book of Shadows pages, artwork, and more, all provided as PDFs, and I continue to add new downloadable content as I do more projects on the channel. I'm melting the wax over a very low heat. As you make your candle, melt your wax slowly over a low heat and do not boil or burn your wax. If you see any smoke, your wax is burning. Turn the heat down. Another option is to use a double boiler setup to slowly melt your wax. As you wait for the wax to melt, this is the perfect time to add your energy and intention as you stir the melting wax. When making your own money draw spell candle, you should incorporate the ingredients you have on hand that provide the effects you want in your candle. You do not have to include all of the ingredients I show in this video. As always, my tutorial should only be a starting point for you to develop your own craft. I encourage you to use what feels right to you and what you have access to. Once the wax is completely melted, it's time to add the ingredients you want inside your candle. Make sure to turn the heat off before adding anything to the wax. The first ingredient into the wax is alfalfa. This herb has been cultivated for thousands of years as a ground cover and fodder for cattle. Since ancient times, cattle have been synonymous with wealth. Alfalfa is used in magic for growing wealth, prosperity, as well as a happy home making it perfect for a spell candle for drawing money. Alfalfa symbolizes pleasure and enjoyment of life. It's also used in money stay with me spells. I want to make sure that this element is ground up very finely to almost a powdery consistency before adding it to the wax. I'm powdering it between my fingers before adding it. I'm also adding dried mint. Mint is a great herb for drawing wealth and providing added protection. I like to use mint in my magical workings because it smells so fresh and it's easy to grow in my climate. Again, I'm powdering the dried leaves between my fingers before adding them. Always make sure that when you're adding ingredients that they'll be fire safe. 
I make sure to grind them very finely. This way, they will incorporate into the wax and not produce a large clump or chunk that might catch on fire or burn unpleasantly. The next spice I'm including is allspice. I'm adding the ground version of the spice into the wax. I will use whole allspice berries later in the project. Allspice is used for drawing money, luck, healing, and obtaining treasure. Besides adding it to a spell candle, you can burn this spice as an incense to attract money and wealth. Or you may wish to add allspice to a pot of boiling water on your stove to fill your home with this grounding aroma that helps set the stage for money and wealth spells. Once you've included the ingredients you want inside the candle, it's time to add a color. I'm using a color that corresponds to the kind of magic I'll do with my candle. In this case, for drawing money, I'm adding several drops of green colorant. In color magic, the color green corresponds to growth, fertility, abundance, and wealth. It's a good color to use in magic related to money, prosperity, and luck. Another color you can use if you don't want to use green is gold. Gold attracts success and prosperity and represents wealth. The wax will lighten as it cools, going from clear to white. The cooling process will also lighten whatever color you've added. Make sure to add enough colorant to the wax to make the liquid wax appear darker than the final color that you desire. You may wish to add an essential oil or a perfume oil to scent your candle. This is an optional step as many people like to leave their candles unscented for many reasons, including potential allergies. I'm using cinnamon oil. Cinnamon is perhaps one of the most widely used herbs in spellcrafting. Use this spice for attracting love and prosperity. Cinnamon is commonly associated with money magic and drawing abundance and opportunities to you. It's a good idea to incorporate cinnamon in situations where you're in dire need of financial aid and in a timely manner. Just like with any spell, the addition of cinnamon calls for quick action, speeding up the outcome you're searching for. Cinnamon can be added to any spell to help it act more quickly or to simply give it a little extra boost. Next, it's time to pour the wax into the container you're using to hold your candle. Ensure that you're using a fire safe container. Never use plastic or anything flammable. I've chosen this jar because it has a wide opening so that I can add my ingredients to the top of the candle artfully to make it look aesthetically pleasing. And also because it will be easy to fill and not likely to tip over when lit for fire safety. I'm putting a small piece of removable mounting putty on the bottom of my candle wick to stick it to the jar. I'm using this wick holder that came with my candle making kit. Clamping the wick into this device will ensure the wick is centered in the jar and create a straight up and down wick that will not droop. You can also tie the wick to a chopstick or skewer or use a clothespin to hold the wick whatever you have at home that works with your container. Then slowly and carefully pour the wax in and scoop in any of the ingredients that have settled to the bottom. Leave your candle to cool and for the wax to firm up. The wax in my five ounce candle becomes somewhat firm in about one hour. The amount of time will vary depending on the size of your candle. Smaller candles will cool more quickly. Once the wax is cooled, you can add ingredients to the top of your candle. I like to use a heat tool to melt a little bit of the surface wax to adhere glitter and gemstones to the top. I love to add glitter to all of my crafts. I decided to use both green and gold glitter on the top of this candle.
Next, I'm adding green adventuring gemstones to the top of the candle. This stone is well known for its ability to draw money and career success. Its name comes from the Latin word for chance. It's a stone that is great for goal setting and manifesting desires, especially when they're associated with money, luck, or career. Another stone you can substitute is pyrite on the top of your candle. And finally, I'm adding some whole allspice on top, making sure to place the spice around the edges of the candle and not near the wick where they might catch on fire. A candle created magically in your sacred space and with great intention can bring extra power and purpose to your magic. There are many ways to use your spell candle. It's perfect for any spell work relating to drawing money, but it can also work for any kind of prosperity, fertility, or success you envision as you create it. Light it intentionally during a ritual or spell to bring wealth into a specific area of your life. Focus energy toward visualizing your goal happening as you light your candle and as it burns. When the candle has completely burned through, you may wish to remove the gemstones, which are now infused with the energy of your intention. Keep them and use them in further magical workings or give them back to the earth. Always practice fire safety when burning any candles. I've left some important fire safety tips below the video.